Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x and y in this nice student of equation? Yeah, let's solve this as equation one, and this as equation two. And from equation one here, we have x minus y equals to four. Then from here, let's take minus y to this side and become plus. So we have x now equals to four plus. So now from here, we can substitute this in equation 2, that is from equation 2, we have x times y equals to 4. Then it implies that here we have 4 plus y as x now, then times y equals to 4. Then here we open the bracket with y and this becomes 4y plus y square equals to 4. Then here we can rearrange and bring 4 to this side as well. Then this becomes y square plus 4y minus 4 equals to 0 from here. That is here we have a quadratic equation that we can solve using the formula y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a and here we have a to be equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to minus 4 then when we solve this from here we have y equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 then all over 2 times 1 that is from here we have y equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 then minus times minus also plus and 4 times 4 that's also 16 then over 2 times 1, that's 2. Then here we have y to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus root 16 plus 16, that's 32. Then over 2. And here 32, same thing as root 16 times 2, that's same thing as 32, which is 4 root 2. That is here, this gives us y to be equals to minus 4 plus or minus 4 root 2 over 2. Then, separate this as y equals to, here we have 2 common, so when we bring it out, this becomes 2 into bracket minus 2 plus or minus, also we have 2 root 2 here, then over 2. And here, this cancel out here, and we have y to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 2. That is, here we have two values of y from here, and y1 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 root 2, and we have y2 to be equal to minus 2 minus 2 root 2 and from here we can get the corresponding value of x relation we have which is x equals to 4 plus y then here x1 will then be equals to 4 plus y1 which is now minus 2 plus 2 root 2 and here plus minus is still minus so x1 now equals to 4 minus 2 which is 2 then plus 2 root 2 and we have x1 comma y1 as the first set of solution and that is 2 plus 2 root 2 then comma we have y1 as minus 2 plus 2 root 2. 
then also on this side you can also use this solution to get x2 and here x2 will be 4 plus y2 and that is you see you have minus 2 minus 2 2 and x2 now equals to here will be 2 then minus 2 root 2 that is from here the second set of solution which we have here which is x2 from our y2 now and be written as we have x2 that's 2 minus 2 root 2 then y2 that's minus 2 minus 2 root 2 so here we have these two sets of solutions in this given problem and here to confirm we can check from equation 1 we have x minus y equals to 4 then let's check with this first set of solution there so we have x as 2 plus 2 root 2 then minus y that will be minus into bracket y that's minus 2 plus 2 root 2 is this equals to 4 then when we open the bracket with minus here this becomes 2 plus 2 root 2 then plus 2 then minus 2 root 2 is this equals to 4 then here 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 here cancel out then 2 plus 2 here that's 4 which is equals to 4 now left hand side is equals to the right hand side so it satisfy this first equation also the second equation we have which is x times y equals to 4 now also using the first set of solution there well here now here we have 2 plus 2 root 2 then that's x times y which is minus 2 plus 2 root 2 is this equals to 4 and from what we have there we can write this as 2 root 2 plus 2 then which is also 2 root 2 minus 2 here is it equals to 4 and this pattern follow from when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b and this is simply a square minus b square and then what we have now when we apply this so here this will be 2 root 2 all square then minus 2 square which is equal to 4 and here is two, this power of 2 we affect 2 and 2 square that's 4 and root 2 square 2 will be affected root 2 square that's root 2 that's 4 times 2 then minus here 2 square that's 4 is this equal to 4 and here 4 times 2 that's 8 there so we have 8 then minus 4 is it equal to 4 then it's minus 4 is 4 which is equal to 4 also left hand side now equals to the right hand side and hence it also satisfies the second equation and here this first solution satisfied so in the same way also the second equation here will also satisfy the given problem and then we have come to the end of the class thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn notification bell see you next class and bye for now